Hey, thanks for watching this video. I'm stepping into Act 5 for the first time on Skilltoid 69. Uh, the rhyming was not intentional, I promise. Uh, so pretty much every time, this is true for my main account from years ago, from Chilltoid last year, uh, to right in this video, uh, the flare node scares me. <laughs> so I sweat about it, I like think about it. So here I am looking around. Um, so I'm going to select my champions, but before I do that, here's a surprise crystal opening. Bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> I'm opening the crystals here in this video because if I show you my champions without this, then it's kind of like I spoiled it. Cool, so Falcon's a very good champion. I have him maxed as a three star. And I, I honestly don't know if like... Just fully leveling him up would be better, if, like the max 3 star is better. I, I guess I'm just tired of investing in Falcon, to be honest. Like, as a 5 star, that'd be a different story, but for like a 4 star, I'm just spending ISO on the same champions, pretty much. Now Nick Fury, on the other hand. <laughs> he is a champion that is absolutely worth ISO. He's worth a Awakening Gem a class, or I'd even say a generic. Um, but I will not... My Nick Fury is not currently wake, um, awakened. It's probably going to take a while before that happens, but... He's pretty okay on Awakened, in my opinion. Who we have for 5 star number 2? Nightcrawler! Wow, I'm going to have such a great time forgetting that he's in my roster, because literally, who cares? Um, I guess he can do things. I, I'm not going to use him, just straight up. Alright, so I have the Flare node, I have my path picked out, I honestly, like, don't remember the process of picking the path, or I don't even know if the path is, like, good. I don't know if it was too long, like, I would have benefited maybe from a shorter path, but here we are. This is my first fight in Act 5 with this brand new account. How do we do? I think I choose Sorcerer Supreme for longevity, and also just anticipating that I'm gonna take a lot of SP1s into the block. Start the fight with block damage, not my favorite way to start fights. There we go. Special one. Yeah, I, I appear to be losing health at the moment, but I guess things could be worse. Here we go, below half. Okay. Half a health bar to finish a fight. I don't know how I feel about that. That's the thing about Flare. You take d -gen, but it raises your attack, so any... You know, just any champion that can take down fights really quickly are going to benefit. But also it helps to have, like, a high amount of health. Okay, so that... the, the parry heavy technique with Colossus seems pretty good. He hits pretty hard with class advantage under this flare node. You could tell I meant to parry those SP1 hits and it just, it just did not work. Not bad. I ended the fight with a little over 50% um, health. So not amazing, but not terrible, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Winter Soldier is one of CGR's favorite punching bags. <laughs> you know, a la Re Realm of Legends. So, um, I'm sure you might know this rotation where you start with the very heavy and then rush in with the light ender power gain and then medium ender special two. Uh, I, I struggle to get that going. I, I, I don't quite get it right. That spacing before the heavy though, that was pretty, that was pretty awesome. I love just spamming heavy in the corner. 
with a CGR and the opponent has like a whole bunch of armor breaks. It's very nice. Also the um, precision and cruelty are pretty important and uh, aptitude also helps. Okay, so I'm going for the same rotation as last time. Took that into the block. I, I think that was a good decision. Given that this will do more damage as a result. Hmm. I missed the parry. I was supposed to parry heavy there. No good. I guess we'll see how Falcon does with class advantage. Cleaned up pretty good. Didn't lose a lot of health either. I I think that's partially because of class advantage. What? I don't remember how flare works. I don't even know if flare is affected by that. Yeah, here's hoping uh, Sam Wilson's superior base stats are just going to carry. Since I believe he's the highest ranked champion in my roster. Wasn't sure about firing the SP2 here, but it does so much damage with Flare, like 20% like health. For like a rank 3 under leveled 5 star. Yeah, I think I could go the class advantage route here. Yeah. Probably gonna try to get to that special two as quick as I can. Yeah, so way better fight than against War Machine, who's just a really annoying defender. Looks like we're going with the same strat against this Black Bolt. So as far as like AI behavior, like like you notice I did a whole bunch of backdraft intercepts with Gamora. Um, I think the AI behavior has a lot to do with, like, who the champion is. Like, it's not as simple as, like, oh, this champion's gonna be more defensive, or something like that. But, like... Oh, well, okay, it's not just about AI when it comes to intercepting successfully. It's also, like, the hitboxes versus, like, the hurt boxes, like, how big they are. Like, I think, generally speaking, you can do things, like light intercepts and spam heavy in the corner against like an extra large champion than you can against like a smaller one um yeah i don't know like black belt black black belt goodness black bolt like really makes me nervous i think i've just i've been hit in the face by him you know me attempting to intercept but then just getting counter intercepted uh, i've been hit by him too many times Looks like this Cyclops fight is going pretty okay. The SPD would do the most damage here. There it is. Really, it's just like how fast can you get to the SP2? An ambush! My homies hate ambushes. I guess I just rushed to the special two, that's the strat. I don't know what I expect to happen here. Oh gosh. I would have been better off just 
throwing the SP1 right here. It's like I'm not I'm not living. There's no way. What? Okay. I actually uh, this footage is like a month old, so I obviously don't remember what happened. That was that was a great performance by Sorcerer Supreme, oh my gosh. Colossus cleans up pretty well too. Okay. I think it's around this Gwen pool where things kinda start to start to get sorta of desperate, start to slow down. Fate's a special too. Please throw it. Oh my gosh. Windpool is so annoying. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I didn't do the whole parry heavy thing where you get the fury, but I didn't need it. One hint of the block is enough to finish. Oh boy, how annoying Yellow Jacket is to fight. I'm wondering if Falcon's, like, SIG ability... It's like, Yellow Jacket has this thing where he, like, reflects damage, or, like, he has an aura that hurts you, something like that. I, I forget the specifics. I don't think it even comes up in this quest. But, like, would Falcon prevent that damage? Anyway, let's uh, let's see how he does. I will say, in general, Falcon has a lot of like very good niche uses when it comes to like defensive ability accuracy stuff. But then there's other things where it's just like, yeah, you think something's ability accuracy for defensive ability, and it's not. Um, I always expect his cruelties to do, like, way more damage than they actually do. I think at some point I get to 99 uh, cruelty passes with Falcon, and, like, the results were just so disappointing. <laughs> it was, like, the difference of, you know, like a... I, I don't even know, like a, like a 2200 guaranteed crit, and then instead it was, like, a 2700 guaranteed crit. Like, oh my gosh, 500 more damage. <laughs> Let's go crazy, like it really wasn't such a big difference, but maybe he just scales at a higher rank. That's all it is. So this interaction with Hulkbuster... Well, actually, I don't think I fight... I don't fight this Hulkbuster with Cap, or do I? Okay, yeah. So just like in the beginning, how we started with a uh, crystal opening, now we're gonna have a rank up, or a level up, I should say. Um, Source of Supreme is already already ranked. She's uh she's good and ranked up for now. So yeah, doing this for the level up event. Just having a nice gander at my Look, what am I doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm taking Nick up. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I was like, I was very confused. Ah, gotta love class ISO. You just don't have a ton of it on a new account, you know? That, that's, that's the thing. You don't have a ton of ISO in general. You gotta be very picky about who you rank up. Okay, just uh, co collecting the loot. Man, those 25 units are gonna come real in handy in a moment. 
You'll, uh, you'll see soon enough. Ah, so I do fight Hulkbuster with... with Sam Wilson. That is really good. So, I I don't learn about this until later. In fact, the day I'm uploading this, I looked it up. The way Hulkbuster's um, armors work is that if you hit him with a critical hit, then um, if you hit him with a critical hit, his one of his armors is removed, and you get a shock debuff on you. Now, this is assuming you're not like bra armor breaking as you're critting or whatever. But yeah, if, if you crit him, you get a shock. That's basically how it works. And for a, a while, I thought, oh, it's like if you hit a damage range. It's like the rage node. I thought it was like that. Like, oh, if you hit him too hard. But no, it's it's all based on crits. Um, you're going to see in a later video, uh, not to spoil anything, I'm going to try to use Falcon of all champions. <laughs> and do the whole scan thing. You know, oh, I'm going to lower defensive ability accuracy. Does it work? Does not work. What works is Sam Wilson. Uh, Captain America Sam Wilson got that no critting thing, which is going to come in handy uh, when I fight Hulkbusters. Now, CGR right here did a fantastic job. Um, I guess I was just really lucky in the fact that I didn't crit while I was fighting a Hulkbuster uh, right up until I fired my SB2, so that... Uh, I, I guess that was luck. I guess RNG was on my side. It's hard to say. I don't know if class disadvantage has something to do with Hulkbuster's armor, like his ability act. I, I literally don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Gonna do like the heavy rush in. Try to do the light ender. Um, God Slayer is really good at that rotation. I don't know if he like invented it or something, but he's really good at it. I mean, he's like the CGR god, basically. But, uh, yeah, it works out here. Works out very well here between the health pool, like, relative health pool, and uh, the flare node giving me more attack. So here is where I use the 25 units. 21 units. I, I use a level 5 potion. 4, sorry, level 4. So what rotation am I going to use? Am I going to try to do like a long... Yeah. Looks, looks like I'm getting ready for a long fight. Maybe I'm going aptitude here? Yeah, this looks like aptitude. Push him to an SV1, fire the my SV1. I'm going to do a slow 5 hit, light ender, and then... Yeah. Heavy's in the corner. Very nice. This might do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, overkill. Man, CGR feels so good, even as a 3-star. Well, I'd say I'm 21 units down, 1 revive. Not great, but not bad. Um, hope you like this video. Hope you're having a good day. Bye-bye.